Hello friends, in this lecture we are going to understand that how stack is implemented inside the general purpose registers. Stack which is a data structure of LIFO kind, LIFO that is last in first out. The element which is inserted at last is the first one to be read out from the registers, to be popped out from the registers. Here I have just tried to show you that certain registers that how stack is implemented inside these registers. So these all are certain general purpose registers whereas DR is the data register is that special purpose register through which element will be pushed or will be popped out from the stack. So here uh, uh, apart from DR there is SP that is stack pointer again which is a special purpose register which is holding the top position of the stack where the push or the pop of the element need to be done. Uh, also here we are having two flags that is full and empty. These are actually two flip flops which are used to hold which are used to manage the stack inside the general purpose registers. Initially stack initially inside this stack organization full flag full will be 0 and empty flag will be 1. It means initially the stack is empty. So whenever we try to insert an element inside these general purpose registers stack that is stack which is implemented inside the general purpose register. So whenever the first element will be inserted in this stack then at that time that element will be inserted from the first position. I am repeating again. Whenever we are inserting the first element, whenever we are pushing the first element inside the stack which is implemented inside the general register organization, then the first element will be pushed at the position 1. After that, as soon as at least one element comes inside the stack the empty flag becomes zero which was initially one right so when we are pushing certain element inside the stack the algorithm shows that sp equals to sp, SP plus one initially when the stack is totally empty the sp was pointing to zero so first element which is going to be inserted in the stack is a so first of all sp becomes sp plus 1 that is 0 plus 1 1 and at the 1 position dr will push its element that is a will be pushed at the first position of memory after that if sp equals to 0 then full equals to 1 this condition will be checked out that whether sp is at position 0 no now sp is at position 1 so empty becomes 0 which we have done earlier as soon as we insert the first element inside the stack. Again when we repeat this operation now let's suppose we just want to insert B inside this stack. So as soon as we insert so first of all with the help of this algorithm SP will become SP plus 1 that is 1 plus 1 2. Now SP will point at this position 2. Now dr which is holding b now. So now b will be copied at the second position. Then it will again check that whether sp equals to 0. No sp is having position 2. Then full equals to 1 needs not to be done. Finally empty equals to 0 which is already 0. In this way this operations goes on and on. Now let's suppose when we are reach this particular position that is 63 in the 64 memory word register when we have inserted certain element at this position at that time what happened now sp becomes sp plus 1 63 plus 1 equals to 64 but here we are not having any 64 position so the stack pointer will point at position 0 right at this position now stack pointer will point out now this at this position let's suppose I just want to insert x so 
m of sp which is now 0 x will be inserted at this position now this algorithm will check the uh, condition that whether sp equals to 0 yes now sp is at position 0 then full becomes 1 now here the full becomes 1 as soon as this becomes 1 it means no more push operation can be performed inside this stack so this was all about the push operation where else when we talked about the pop operation how the things happen in this case First of all, element will be popped out from the RAM, sorry, from the registers, not from the RAM, from the registers, from the general purpose registers. So, in this case, when we are trying to pop out certain element from the stack, from the stack which is implemented inside the registers, so first of all, element will be popped out from the stack and will provide it to the DR, that is data register. After that, stack pointer will be decremented by 1 now let's suppose if stack pointer is pointing 0th position so after decrementing it will not show the minus 1 position it will shows the 63rd position here understand so when we are at the 0 position after decrementing the stack pointer value this will point out at the 63 now if sp equals to 0 no sp is not 0 so this condition will not check full equals to 0 now full which was 1 earlier will will have 1 again this in this fashion elements can be popped out finally when the stack pointer reaches the first position if still we want to pop out any element from the stack then what will happen a will be popped out and will provide it to the dr after that stack pointer will be decremented by one now stack pointer will point after one it will shows at zeroth position now the condition will check whether sp equals to 0 now yes sp is 0 then flip flop then the flag empty will become 1 as soon as this flip flop as soon as this flag becomes 1 it means now no more pop operation can perform inside this stack so in this way the push and the pop operations are performed inside this stack which is implemented inside the general purpose registers. Thank you.